Hey, it's Ryan and uh, today I just want to make a small video about uh, a new thing that I learned in Inkscape while working and that is let us say that you have uh, this your select tool selected and uh, you want to directly you know edit a particular text so the special feature about the uh, select tool is that if you double click on the text it will take it will take you to the tool that was used to make this uh, text so if you double click on the text here it will just bring you the text uh, the text tool will, will be will be active tool and same way if you try to click on the rectangle over here if you double click on it you get the rectangle tool selected and if you if you just make a line here using the bezier line tool and let us say double click takes you to this uh, rectangle tool right double click uh, double click takes you to the text tool and double click takes you to this basic tool so you're back you're back to your tools and not exactly the basic code tool because of of course the basic code tool is used to make the line but uh, you can uh, you come to this edit paths tool and you can make use of this tool to modify the line that you created earlier so why this is important because uh, most of the times when you're working with inkscape you might have to uh, switch between different tools for example if you're making prototypes or screen prototypes so what you may do is you may make some text edit over here and then you may want to uh, change it change the text again or you may want to resize or you may want to curve the borders of the rectangle so in that case one easy way for you is to just you know remember the shortcut keys this is f1 and this is f2 or you can remember the shortcut keys for the text it is f8 so that is one way but if you your finger hand is on the mouse you might as well just double click on the text and you know just get get where they work quickly so this is a small tip for you guys and uh, well that's all that i have for now have a good day